October 23rd, 1962. Dear sir, I mean, dear madame. I mean, dear sir and dear madame. Oh, hail spells. To whom it may concern. I don't have time to waste on formality. My name is Lily Kate Burns, and I want to be a prima ballerina, just like Maria Tall Chief. But I'm never going to be much of anything long as I stay here. I'm not exactly living in the cultural center of the universe. You see, I'm from a town called Hope. The Russians needn't bother bomb us, because we look like we've already been bombed. My uncle says the town is dying. He says it's on account of we live in the south and that the south is damned. But I've got nothing to be ashamed of. It's not my fault some war happened long before I was born and gave us all a bad reputation. Nobody takes my dancing seriously. But no matter what anyone says, I'll never stop. I learned a long time ago. You move, or you die. My mama, she doesn't move. of the essence, and I'm not getting any younger. Things can happen, unexpected things. Hey, I'm not... Good Lord. You aren't going to school looking like that. I am so. Well, you look odd, downright odd. So what do you think? I think Ray will like it. <laughs> Looks like you dumped your whole head in orange Kool-Aid. <laughs> You are a cruel and sensitive child. How can you be so mean to me when you when you know I'm having hormonal imbalance? Hormonal imbalance. That's right. You could try and be a little under. You could try and be a little understanding. I tried to be understanding with you when you had hormonal imbalance. I bought you that little book to read. You just threw it away. All you read is that filth that boy brings you. It's not filth. It's literature. You want to read literature? Here, read the Bible. God, I am a Christian. If I were not a Christian, I could not get through a single day. You're not gonna cry again, are you? No, I'm not gonna cry, because I'm too busy taking care of an invalid sister, a 13-year-old who hates me, and a husband who's turning my prize win rose garden into a bomb shelter. Oh, I hope the Russians do come and just blow us all to smithereens. Just put me out of my misery. Mostly I perform solo, but I've won several dance competitions with my partner, Mr. Billy October. We won first prize at the Pink Tomato Festival last June. We would have won the county talent contest that Billy was caught smoking in the men's room, so we was disqualified.
Russians going to bomb us? I give us a 50-50 chance. A strict quarantine on all offensive military equipment under shipment to Cuba is being initiated. Cuba reacted to the president's speech by ordering all its armed forces on an immediate alert for a report on how our... What is he doing on my picture table? News correspondent Roger Mudd at the Pentagon in Washington. Oh, Wings. He's okay. trying to do Wings. Billy October, get off that table right this minute. I don't care if he does have a genius IQ. That boy is odd. Damn right odd. Morning, Lily. Morning, Ray. Ray, your coffee. Huh. Good God, you look like a raccoon. <laughs> so, is that ungodly hole in the ground finished yet? Ah, uh, between the communists and the niggers, I ain't ever gonna get any right, work done around right. here, Josephine. I just come to get this for Miss Maisie. What? It's coloreds. What? You're supposed to call them coloreds now. Look, why don't you just get to school all the time, huh? And don't be cutting any history class either. Excuse me. I got pounding to be late for school. You don't think the Russians are really gonna bomb us, do you? Oh, good Lord, no. Why, the whole thing's just a hoax. No one's gonna drop any bombs. Nothing's gonna explode. <laughs> What did you do to your hair? Dad it blonde, like Marilyn Monroe. Well, you asking for trouble, aren't you? Huh. Young lady, you come back here and say goodbye to your mama. Can I wear your glasses? What's your name? Clevel. How come you're not in school this morning? Don't get paid to go to no school. Whatever you selling, we don't want. Uh, no, ma'am. I just uh, found this scarf in the road. And, uh, is this your boy? Lord of mercy, no. Thank you. He be my boy? I beat the tar out of him. His mama worked for Miss Dalton up the street. Brain exploded one day. Used to teach piano. Now her hands be all messed up. Mister. Mister. Come on. Bomb shelter. Place where you go so when the bomb be melting everybody's brain, you be underneath the ground with your brain still working. Now my hand be forever in the ground. Why don't you write your name next to it? Gone? Can't you spell your name? My name is Clavel. I can spell it just fine. A friend of yours, Clavel? 
He my brand new friend. Uh-huh. Why don't you let me talk to your friend while you go over there and tote that wheelbarrow yonder? Looking for work, fella? No, sir. Besides, looks like all your positions are filled. <laughs> Boy ought to be in school. You the truant officer? No, sir. Well, then, it's none of your business, is it? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh... Percy, Ray Percy. And what do you do, Mr. Percy? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I happen to own 100 acres of the richest farmland in the county, two gas stations, and the only picture show in town. And if you don't get your nosy brown butt out of my yard, I'm going to have you arrested for trespass. That won't be necessary. Just a minute. Do I know you? No, sir. You do not know me at all. What's your name? Walker. Jediah Walker. Walker. Well, good day, Mr. Walker. Good day, Mr. Percy. Better you stay away from him now, you hear me? He's no good. Now, come on, we gotta get back to work, finish this thing before all hell breaks loose. You know what? Ain't nothing gonna survive but roaches. Big old fat roaches gonna come take over the earth. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? They've been talking about it on the radio. Ah, well, don't pay any attention to it all. Just communist propaganda. Now, go on, get back to work. Don't know what good's gonna do. Roaches are coming. Big old fat roach. Try and remain calm. After all, this is a history class. Learn from your history. Remember your past. Have you learned from the past? This might never have happened. I cannot doubt. May he leave me to still waters. That's okay. You go ahead to like the you pray. Little good is gonna do us now. The Lord is my shepherd. Dear God, I not want you. We're all gonna, gonna die. die. Sylvester, Sylvester, kiss me, kiss me once before I die. I gotta go to the bathroom. Attention, boys and girls. This is the principal. Please return to your seats. This has only been a we dream. We have been spared. This has only been this a dream. Time? Everybody up now. Take your seats. Quietly. Quietly, please. Now, let us take a moment to reflect upon the events that might have led to our present demise. My daddy says it's all that Catholic Kindy's fault. He's in cahoots with the communists. And that's how come we lost the Bay of Hogs. Pigs. It was the Bay of Pigs. Whatever. It was stupid. And Daddy says Your that... Your Daddy don't know diddly squat. <laughs> you calling my Daddy a liar? No, uh, uh -oh. I'm simply suggesting that he's misinformed. Misinformed? Boys. You're saying my Daddy is misinformed. Stop it! Stop it! I'm not letting this sissified bookwoman sold my daddy. Apologize. I won't apologize for telling the truth. Uh -oh. Stop it! Oh. I can't get your hands off him, you big fat turkey! Oh. 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 Come on. Oh. 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 No. You killed him! Limitless, limpid jets of love. Hot and enormous, quivering gel of love. Bells, Bells, where'd you get that book? Ordered it all the way from New York City. Got every book they ever banned from Hope Junior High. Well, let me see. <laughs> Lady Chadra's lover and something by a guy named Miller. Got the F word on every page. That's the one I want to read. I want to learn more about the F word. Do you think about it much? The F word, I mean? Sorta. Of. Mm. I think I 
think about it all the time. Miss Muriel says it's normal, so I guess in that sense, I'm very normal. How about you? Are you normal? Who wants to be normal? Normal's boring. Yeah, I guess you're right. himself just like he did at the Christmas tree light. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? It's not easy being an outcast. But there's one place Billy and I can always find sanctuary. It's run by one of the best dance teachers in the whole county. The one, the only. Miss Muriel McSwain. Well. Former Rocket. How in the hell did you earn that? Spoke the truth. But, Miss Muriel, I don't think this is necessary. Shh, shh, shh. I can't see a thing. Just keep still. The next time someone puts their fist in your face, you give him a right punch. Ray finds out what happened, he's gonna kill me. Oh, don't worry about a thing. What goes on out there in the world has nothing to do with us. In here, we create our own world. And in our world, time stops. Miss Muriel talks a lot about the past, about how she studied classical ballet under Madame Popova of the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo. Her career was cut short by a marriage to some Italian guy that owned a hotel in Vegas. They got a divorce two years later. That's the one thing she won't talk about. On account it makes her cry and all. Week you'll do three. You are talented like your mother. She made music with her hands, but you make it with your feet. Put on your tap shoes. Billy! Oh, time's a wasting. Five, six, seven, eight. Girl does her toe tap again. You know how those judges are suckers for toe tap. Can we do it again? Again? I don't think so. Well, after all, how could we possibly improve upon perfection? Miss Mira? Oh. <sighs> oh, Lily. You won't get a skull. You said I was talented. You are. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. Just there's always someone better. Better. Prettier. Oh, hell's bells. Oh, hey, it's okay. Get in the closet. Get in the closet. Get in the closet. Start with me now. I know she's here. She and that blonde headed queer boy. They done gone knock that Tabor boy plumb unconscious. Well, don't you think it's about time somebody knocked some sense into that boy? Now, where are they, Muriel? Who? Who 
was that? Oh, no, huh? Ray, calm down. No, no. If those children were here, I'd tell you. Yeah. Okay, I lied. I lied. It's Lily Kate and Billy, and they're hiding in the closet, of course. <sighs> you playing with me, Muriel, are you? Huh? Who? Come on, give me a kiss. Let's have a drink. Man, you always was a handsome hey, woman. You that know belongs that? to me, Mr. Uh, Ray. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. <laughs> Little snack for lunch. Come on. I gotta get home. Granny's gonna kill me. Why don't you come with me? Can't. First place you'll look. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. But I'm never going back there. Ever. Aren't you afraid of being alone? Not really. I've been alone most of my life, anyway. died before I was born. Miss Muriel says all the great artists had someone die on them early on in life. In some ways, I'm lucky. Billy October didn't even have a father to give him a last name. So he made one up after the month he was born in. <laughs> he says having a dead daddy is better than having no daddy at all. Oh, excuse me. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Just walking. Come here. Come here. You know this is a colored cemetery? Well, yes, sir. I know. See, I was just taking a short cut. I'm awful sorry about whoever it was you lost. I hope it wasn't someone close. My mother. I buried her today. I know how you feel. But you get used to it after a while. Do you? If you're lucky. Well. Nice talking to you. I better go. What's your name? Lily. Lily Kate Burns. Lily Kate Burns. Now that's a name with music to it. Jediah. Jediah Walker. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Walker. What's a young lady like you doing wandering around this late in the cemetery? I came to talk to my daddy. He's over yonder. His bones, anyway. And your mama? Might as well be dead. She just sits and stares like a vegetable. Everybody I ever loved, dead or vegetable. Don't think it's a tornado, do you? Never heard of a tornado in October. We better make a run for it. You better hurry on home now, you hear? I'm not ever going. My situation is a desperate one. And if there is any future at all, there isn't one for me here. If I stay, I'll probably die and become a shadow like everyone else. I hope you'll give me your most serious consideration. Sincerely, Miss Lily Kate Burns. 
You in some kind of trouble? Been in trouble ever since I was born. If I go home, no telling what my uncle's gonna do to me. I might as well just run away from this place and never come back. Well, you can't run away, Lily. Why? Because it won't change the way you feel inside. How do you know? Well, I ran away myself once, a long time ago. It doesn't take courage to run away. It takes courage to stay. Work out your troubles. It doesn't matter if I stay or go. No one's gonna miss me. Oh, what about your mom? Her least of all. She can't even talk. You ever try to talk to her? Why'd I do that? Well, look around. The trees can't talk. The grass can't talk. The river can't talk, but they all seem to speak to us nevertheless. If we listen. I think the sky is speaking to us right now. What's it saying? That is not a very good night to be running away. OK. Can you take me home? You best get in the back. Well, no, that's OK. We can take the back roads. Chicago. I was teaching at a seminary. Oh, you're a preacher. <laughs> well, I prefer to think of myself as a theologian. A theologian? Mm-hmm. One who studies the nature of God. Oh, I don't believe in him. On account of being an atheist and all? It's just not practical believing in someone when they're dead. Well, I wasn't aware God had died. Oh, he died some time ago. I read all about it in a magazine. Well, I sure am sorry to hear that God is dead. Had I known, I wouldn't have spent all those years talking to him. You don't take what I said seriously? Well, yes, I do. I take it very seriously. Must be a terrible thing, a person your age. Not to believe. Oh, you turn right here. Get you in trouble. You take care of yourself, you hear? I will. Lily Kate, we've been looking all over town for you. Get in my car. Get out of the car. Like you could use a drink. I'm too young to drink. <laughs> Says to anybody who can knock a boy out, get expelled from school, and be escorted home by a Yankee colored preacher is damn well old enough to have a drink. Now go on. You're gonna need one by the time I'm through with you. Another one, thank you. I don't know what world you live in, sister, but it's not the same as mine. I live in the South. Do you have any idea what that means? It means you hate colored people. No, ma'am. means I'm cursed by colored people. Damned by colored people. Like my father, his father before him. And we found it necessary in order to survive that curse to draw lines. Lines that are not to be crossed. Now, I was raised up with them, so would you. 
And the first one is, never car ride with a colored lesson. He's in front and you in the back. You understand what I'm telling you? Yes. Yes what? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, you got two weeks suspension from school. In that time, there's to be no television watching, no bicycle riding, and no toe dancing, period. But me and Billy got to rehearse for the toe I show. said no toe dancing. You stop me from dancing, and I'll go crazy. I'll go completely insane. And I'll do something bad. I'll do something really bad. You can't do anything worse than what you've already done. Yes, I can. I can go all around town telling how you kissed Miss Muriel on the mouth. You're lying. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. Well, your mama went around telling the truth. And look how God shut her up. to a beauty parlor. I'll have you know I'm practically a licensed beautician. <laughs> you went to beauty school. I certainly did. I studied six months at Mr. Maurice's House of Beauty in Pine Bluff. Well, it looks awful. Well, what difference does that make? She don't know that. How do you know what she knows and what she doesn't know? Because anyone with any sense can see that her mind is just a blank page. I do the best I can. The best I can. Fix and go to Thompsonville with Cecil. My punishment is that I can't dance. Can't it? Da Don't you worry. I'll get down on my hands and knees and I'll beg that son of a bitch to let you rehearse for the talent there show. There you go. Merci. No problem. Miss Muriel, you don't really love Ray, do you? Honey, kissing a man and loving a man are two different things. Anyway, it's all gonna blow over. You just make sure you stay away from that, Mr. Walker. I never met anyone like him before. We spoke my name. It was like I was the most important person in the world, like he was speaking to a queen. <laughs> and uh, I think he's handsome. Don't you dare let Ray Percy hear you say that. Oh. Well, colored people can be handsome, too. I wouldn't go having any romantic notions about Mr. Walker. No, I only have one romantic notion. <sighs> it's to get a scholarship to that school in New York. I'll write me a recommendation. You got to. You just got to, please. All right. I guess it can't hurt to try. <gasps> oh, hell fails great. Let's just clear. Come on, I'll give you a ride home. Hi, Josie. Hi, Miss Muriel. Hi, darling. How are you doing today? Looky here, I bought you a pretty yellow scarf. Oh, that's real nice. Right. 
brighten you up a bit. Same color as the sun. We hey, Bill. Miss Emma told me to tell you to get your white trash fanny out of her yard. Oh, she did, did she? Will you tell Miss Emma I will get my white trash fanny out of her yard? As soon as she stops staring at me with her fat, ugly face. Miss Muriel told me to tell you that she will get her white trash fanny out of your yard when you stop staring at her with your fat, ugly face. I heard what that washed up old whore said. Oh, that's lovely, Emma, in front of the children. Your dried up menopausal nightmare! Get out of my yard, or I'll kill you. Miss Emma, have you lost your mind? Put that pistol down! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, get out of here, you whore! Get out of here! Oh, oh, no. Get out of here, Oh, 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 that gun down. Get her out of my yard. Now. All right, Muriel. Muriel! I think you better leave now. Come on. Come on! This is not a surrender, Emma. Merely a retreat. Ah! Oh, my God! Oh. Emma, I swear, I swear to God, you're the only woman I have ever loved my whole life, I swear. If I weren't a Christian, I'd shoot the damn thing off. Damn off. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Clear. Don't come up here. You know why folks ain't supposed to be up here. Well, aren't you scared in the dark? I like the dark. Clavelle. Thank you, ma'am. You don't have to call me ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Three tickets, please. When are you coming back to school, Lily? Never. I'm going to New York, going to be a prima ballerina, just like Maria Tall, Chief. <laughs> Maria Tall what? She's probably a nigger, too. She's probably a commie, like your mama. <laughs> What'd you say about my mama? I said you're probably a crazy nigger-loving commie, just like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lily, and I work at the movie theater. <laughs> Where are you going? What's wrong? What happened? I won't let those girls make fun of my mama, 
Okay, I won't. I just won't. All right, now just calm down, all right? Take it easy now. I tried to defend her. I don't know what she did that was so bad. Yeah, well, it's nothing that you have to worry about right now, all right? So just try to forget it. Oh, look at you. Look at those tears on that pretty face, huh? Okay? It's just sticks and stones, Lily. Just let it go, all right? It's gonna be all right. Come on. I want you going home. I'll take care of this, all right? If I sit down, I hope I'm not disturbing you. I couldn't sleep. I thought you might be awake. And I need someone to talk to. So many questions and no one to give me any answers. I'm 13 years old. I've had three periods already. And I've never been kissed. I'm trying real hard to grow up. I don't think I'm very good at it. I wish you could talk to me. Tell me things. Like why they make fun of you. I bet if I listen and close my eyes real tight, I can hear your voice talking to me just like the wind of rain. You're never gonna talk, are you? And one day you'll die and I'll never know who you are. And if I don't know who you are, then how in the world am I gonna know who I am? Just how in the world am I ever gonna know that? Oh, hell's bells! <laughs> some colored kid being trapped up in the balcony. Oh, Cleveland. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. It's okay. Uh -huh. How in the world did this thing happen? We think it started up in the projection room. Oh, Lily! No, Lily, you can't go in there. I got you. I got you. It's all my fault. I let him in. It's too late. No, I, he's all alone. It's going to be all right. No, he's all alone. He's not alone. He's not alone. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, boy, try it. It's going to be all right, Emma. Come on, you got to get out of here. Yeah, what? there's one boy up there, right? Oh, my God, no. Right, Emma, come on. Oh, that poor baby. On, please. No, right? Please, please. Oh, my come God. On. Oh, no. Lily. 
Lily, get over here. It's Clavel. I let him in. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's not your fault at all. Whose fault is it, Mr. Percy? What did you say? I said, whose fault is it? It's nobody's fault. Oh, it's somebody's fault. Just who the hell are you, Mr. Walker? I thought you knew. Last night, all the world waited for a fire. And while the world waited, a fire did come. Twenty white children came out of that fire alive. And one eight-year-old Negro boy didn't even make it down the stairs. Yeah. And the question is, why? The Bible says the world will be destroyed by fire. And we all know what that fire is. Oh, yeah. And it is not the fire fueled by some Russian missile, no, no. but it is the fire fueled by racism and hate. Yeah. Yeah. See, fire is a contagious thing. Yeah. It smolders in our past. It burns in our present. And it will rage in our future unless we put it out once and for all. Yeah. So go ahead and scream. Yeah. Scream for yourself. Yeah. Scream for our country. Yeah. Scream for Cleveland Monroe. Yeah. Scream. Put out the fire. 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 Ain't gonna let nobody it's right. turn me around. Just a second here. Just a second here. Just a second here. You folks can't cause a commotion in the middle of the street. Oh, this is not a commotion. This is a peaceful demonstration. Well, we don't allow demonstrations, peaceful or otherwise, in our town. Well, go ahead and arrest me. Oh, no, we're not going to give you that pleasure. Nothing make you happier than to get arrested. You can't fool me. I know who you are. You do? Oh, yeah, you're one of those northern agitators, one of those NAACP boys. Oh, I ain't anybody's boy, Mr. Percy. Why did he tell you to come down here? He said he came down to bury his mama. Well, you buried your mama, didn't you, boy? Your business is finished. You better not tarry around here any longer. You're going to be sorry. You understand me? Oh, I understand. Now, I understand this. I'm not leaving until I find out who's responsible for that boy's death. Well, there's nobody responsible. That was an accident, pure and simple. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a funeral to attend. Mrs. Monroe is burying her son today. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Turn me round. Turn me round. Lord of mercy, it's a black Jesus. That's Shadda Walker. Keep on a walking. Keep on. deny that the USSR has placed and is placing medium and intermediate range missiles in Cuba. Don't wait for the translation, yes or no. I am not in an American courtroom, sir, and therefore I do not wish to answer a question. The Russian's lying through his teeth. In the fashion in which prosecutor does. Look at what I got, damn subpoena. Huh? Ray, 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 watch the blood pressure. Oh, the hell with my blood pressure. Look at that. Good Lord. Miss Monroe's bringing a wrongful death suit? 
wrongful death, that nigga's gonna try to get me on manslaughter. Don't, don't try. I've heard that word said way too many times in this house. I can't shut my ears no more. Ray, apologize. For heaven's sakes, Ray, apologize. Let go. You got to look out for her now. Josie. You understand? Josie, please. At night, read the Bible to her. And Josie, Put her right out. Will you do that now? No. I promise. Josie, wait. No. Josie, wait. Why can't you? Okay. Can't Josie, wait. Can't you? you can't leave me. Not at a time like this. Please, Josie. Ray will apologize. It won't do no good to apologize, because I ain't coming back. But he didn't mean it, please. Jo Ray! What? For once in your life, can't you admit you're wrong? What did you say, Emma? Admit you're wrong. Wrong about what? About Josephine. Now go after her, for God's sakes. What did I do? You hurt her feelings. Oh, for, would you calm down? You're gonna get your hormones all out of whack. It has nothing to do with my hormones. Yes, it does. You know you're going through that change thing. Oh, I am going through a change, all right, Ray. I'm sure going through a change. That was everything else around here. I used to look out that window and see my beautiful rose garden, and now all I see is destruction and the end of the world coming. Well, the end of the world is coming, the end of my world. And it's only your fault. Oh, for Christ's sake, Emma. <laughs> You didn't even notice I changed the color of my hair. Yes, I did. It used to be blonde. Oh. <laughs> brown, Ray. Brown. It was always brown. Oh, God. You got a problem, too? God, women. It's gonna cost me a fortune to put another exit in there. I was up to my ass in one mortgage already. Good God, Ray. This is worse than I thought. Hell, I'm your partner. Why didn't you oh, tell man, me? Diesel. Well, what about the fire marshal? Fire marshal's in on it already. He signed off on the approval years ago in exchange for free movie tickets. He's gonna back us up. His job's on Yo, the line, Yo, what if too. he don't? What we gonna do then? What the hell you think we gonna do? Tell the truth. <laughs> well, there's all kinds of shades to the truth now, isn't there? Ray, you're trying to tell me we're gonna lie, aren't you? Hell, man, I can't lie. Uh, see. I am a layman at the church, for Christ's sake. You hear yeah, me? You know, you know, we are out of business. You understand me? We can't afford a lawsuit. What good is the truth going to do anyway? Is it going to bring that little boy back? God, I've got to tell Renetta. She's going to be real upset about this, Look, Ray. It's going to be all right, Cecil, all right? I talked to Patterson. He's going to give them exactly what they want, speedy trial. It's going to be so speedy, they won't be able to get their case together. It's going to be fine. Now, go on, go on home. What the hell are you standing there for, boy? Go on home, take care of Renetta. Waiting on you. What did you hear? Nothing. Honest, I. If I ever hear from anybody that you heard something besides nothing, I'm going to tell Ray and you're going to be in big trouble. Do you hear me, child? Like I told you, I, I didn't hear nothing. Well, that's good. As you can see, once you spill that milk, you got a big mess to clean up. Across town and find you die walker. Your uncle sees you riding in color Shh. town. He'll throw you in jail and it'll be Katie bar the door. No one's gonna see me riding through color town. Take off your pants. Well, what am I gonna wear? When I was a young boy, I left this town. 
I left my mama, left my brother, because I was afraid. Now I've come home. And I'm not afraid anymore. All right. See, fear is a dangerous thing. And we have been afraid for far too long. Yeah. Afraid to speak out for what is wrong. Afraid to be heard. And when we sit in that courtroom, although no one can see him, a young boy will be sitting among us. And someone must speak for him. We must speak for him and for ourselves or be damned in our silence. Yeah. And long after we have gone from this earth, his voice will still be heard in that courtroom and in every courtroom in this country. And it will be the voice of truth and freedom and justice. Yeah. Yes, sir, I have faith. I have faith that those Russian ships will turn around. And I have faith that the Lord will... will send me a messenger. Let us bow our heads and pray. Let us all bow our heads and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven? Lily? I can't. I can't. Why can't you tell him? Because I'm not the one who heard it, Lily. You did. I should have never told you. I gotta go. Lily, wait, please. Listen to me. Sometimes you have to help people see the mistakes. Turn your devils into angels. I'll never turn Ray into an angel. I don't know. I think maybe we ought to try. Remember, the devil was once an angel. If I testify, Ray will kill me. And Emma, she'll never speak to me again. And don't think this entire town will ever speak to me. Not that I care. I hate this town. I hate all the hate that's in it. Be brave, Lily Kate. Your mama was brave. How do you know my mama? Kate Burns, where have you been? Ah, oh, I went to see Miss Muriel. You're lying. Billy just told me where you were. Off visiting that colored man. Now, how can you go and just deliberately defy Ray like that? Well, someone has to defy him. You are so contrary. Just like, just like your mama. Jediah said my mama was brave. Yeah, she was. And it broke her heart. Emma. I would appreciate it if you didn't tell Ray.
You know you're not supposed to be up here. Oh, um... Ray wants to talk to you. And it said that you wanted to see me? <laughs> but you took a little ride through Color Town this afternoon, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think? I mean, Howard Johnson's but a doing a pinch, huh? Oh, yeah, things are heating up. They're heating right up now. You going hunting? Yeah, you might say. Had a little talk with Cecil. Oh. I told him not to worry, though. I said Lily would never take sides with a Yankee preacher. You'd never testify against your uncle now, would you? Huh? Someone has to tell the truth. Truth, huh? What exactly is the truth? I want you to take your mother and get the hell out of my house. Can't kick us out. It's our house, too. Not anymore, it isn't. I bought it from your mama years ago. It's mine. Yeah, it's all mine. do such a thing. He hates her. Oh, he doesn't hate your mama? Yes, he does, and I know why. What happened between my mama and Ray? Oh, that was a long time ago. No, no, I, I wasn't even living here then. You're lying. Lily, how dare you? All of you are lying. I bet if my mama could speak, she wouldn't lie. Well, it's not my place to tell you. Well, then who is going to tell me? My mama can't talk cause her brain's gone. Ray can't talk cause he's full of hate. And Emma, <laughs> she can't talk cause she's afraid to. And you, you can't talk cause you're three sheets to the wind half the time. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Drunk, I'm a drunk. Drunk and a liar. Here it is. Here it is. Your mama was a very special woman. And when she was strong, she wasn't afraid of anybody. Not even Ray. And she was a wonderful piano teacher. There was one particular student she favored, a little colored boy named Joshua, Joshua Williams. And he really did have the most beautiful hands. She had great hopes for him. Now, at the time, Ray was running for county sheriff, and he didn't want her teaching colored children, bringing them into the house. So he ordered her to put an end to it. And one night, he came home roaring drunk. He saw that little boy at the piano. And he told him to stop it, get out, and never come back. But your mama, 
told Joshua to keep playing. And that boy, that brave little boy, played on until Ray stopped him, stopped him for good. He slammed the top down on his hands and broke them, broke his beautiful little hands and broke his heart. And they ran away. And your mama looked everywhere for him, but she couldn't find him. Did she stop teaching? Oh, no, baby. Your mama was headstrong. She went across town to the colored church and taught there. <laughs> oh, boy. She outraged everybody. Especially Ray. Deep down, she... No, well. I think that she went there in hopes that the boy would come back. But he never did. Shortly after she had her stroke, and never spoke another word. You've got to tell the truth for your mama. Tell it for her. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Thank you. Now, Mr. Percy, according to the fire marshal's report, this fire was caused by faulty wiring. Also, according to this report, there was a rear exit door clearly marked. Is that correct? down now. Barring any further interruptions, let's proceed. Ray, answer the question. Was there or was there not a rear exit door to the balcony? A door by which Cleveland Monroe could have escaped. Yes. There was a rear exit door in the balcony. And was that exit door clearly marked? Yep. Could you speak just a little louder, sir? Yes. Mr. Percy, you do realize that perjury is a criminal offense. Objection, Your Honor. He's harassing a witness. Sustained. <clears throat> I have no further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Gill. <sighs> no questions, Your Honor. OK, Ray. You dismissed. All right, Mr. Johnson, call your next witness. The exit door was right here, behind these curtains. Are you sure about that? Yes. And when was that door put in? Uh. I reckon it was about 15 years ago. That'll be all, Mr. Tate. Mr. Johnson, with all due respect, we seem to be getting nowhere. 
what we have here is a terrible tragedy, but one for which, in the court's opinion, we're just going to have to hold the Lord responsible. The law, Judge Patterson, would have closed that balcony 15 years ago. There was no exit door then, and there was no exit door the night of that fire. Now you will cease this outburst, sir, right now. Well, I'll fine you for contempt of court and have the bailiff remove you from my courtroom. Now, you best keep quiet and take your seat, son. Now, where were we? Uh, Mr. Johnson, you have just heard testimony from Fire Marshal Table to the contrary. What I've heard, Your Honor, are lies. Objection, Your Honor. Sustain, Mr. Johnson. Now, you will refrain from making such allegations in my courtroom unless you have some proof to back it up. Your Honor, with all due respect, you don't really think I would make such allegations in a court of law without proof. On behalf of the plaintiff, I'd like to call Miss Lillian Kate Burns as a witness. Call Lillian Kate Burns. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Burns, I believe you were the last person to see Cleve L. Monroe alive. Is that so? Ms. Burns? We're waiting for you to speak. It's very hard for me to talk about this. I know this is hard for you, Miss Lily, the memory of that boy. You thought a lot about what happened that night, haven't you? Yes, sir, I have. And wherever Clavel is, he's in heaven. Well, not that I believe in heaven or anything, but if he's in heaven now, Looking down on us, I know that he don't ever want to know the truth. Do you think Clevel Monroe would think that the real truth is being told here today? No, sir, he would not. You know that real truth, don't you, Miss Lily? Yes, I do. And under what circumstances did you find out that real truth? I overheard a conversation between my uncle and Mr. Cecil. Objection. This is hearsay. Mr. Gill, I think I want to hear it anyway. Your objection's overruled, sir. Proceed. Go ahead, Miss Lily. Tell us what you heard. I heard that there was never an exit door. That would have cost too much money to build it. So Uncle Ray gave Fire Marshal Tabor theater tickets so it wouldn't tell on him. So you're saying they all lied here today? Yes, sir, I am. No, 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 you wait a Order. Minute. She's the one that's lying. Quiet down, down now. She's being called as a witness. In double AC. Order. The girl will say anything. She's crazy. You take that back. My son speaks the truth. Your son wouldn't know the truth if it was staring him in the face. Are you calling me stupid, Sophie? Yes, I am. I'm calling you stupid. Oh. Oh. come to order. Judge, she's in cahoots with that colored fellow and shouldn't be allowed to testify. That's Everybody in town knows she's been fooling around with that Negro preacher. Just a minute. That's a lie. That's not true. Just like oh, stop it. Now, stop it, everybody. Just leave the girl alone. She's telling the truth. Yeah, I know what y'all are thinking, but I'm not going to take all the blame for this. There could have been five, ten exit doors in that theater. And he never would have found him, that boy. How could he read the word exit when he couldn't even spell his own name? What the hell was he doing at the picture show anyway? He wasn't my boy. He'd have been my boy. He'd have been home studying his books. 
He'd have been home sleeping in his bed. Yeah. Well, if he was my boy. If he was my boy. If you were your boy, Mr. Percy, he'd still be alive. Ray? Ray, what the hell is going on? Mr. Percy and I have met before. Long time ago. But then maybe he's forgot. No. No, how could I ever forget you? We have a history together. Oh, yeah. And history just doesn't make fools of us all. Come to order. Under the circumstances, I, I have no choice but to find for the plaintiff, Mrs. Monroe. Damages to be determined by the court after due deliberation. This court is dismissed. I, I didn't mean to. 
I, I mean, go on. It was real nice. I was dancing for my mom. What are you doing here? Um, I just came by to see you and your mama. I was real proud of you in that courtroom, Lily Kate. I missed you. Don't worry, Muriel's not here. Oh, well, I won't be staying too long. I know I'm not welcome here. Everyone's welcome in this house, Emma. Her hair looks bright pretty that way. Fixed it. You really did a good job. She always had such beautiful hair. We were so different, your mom and me. She had perfect pitch, and I, as you know, don't. <laughs> She married a doctor and, well, I married Ray. Lord, mercy, Lily, Lily Kate, I just heard on the radio, Kruchuk is backing down. <gasps> oh. That Russian ship just turned around. Didn't I tell you? Miracles do happen. <laughs> well, well, speaking of miracles, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to... Oh, for heaven's sakes. Don't you be sorry at a time like this. The whole damn world's getting a second chance. Let's make a toast to peace. This calls for champagne. Willie really, Kate, you think you might give me a second chance, too? I don't know. Why don't you ask Mama? Well, now, honey, she can't talk. No, but she can hear. The grass can't talk. The river can't talk. But they seem to speak to us if we just listen. Go on. Ask her. Maisie? Maisie? I want you to come home. I want you and Lily to come home. Dear God, I can't believe I'm praying to you. It's been a long time since we last spoke. First off, I'd like to thank you for making Mr. Khrushchev keep his word so that the world didn't come to an end. Things are quieter here now. Peace has come to hope at last. To most of us, anyway. Billy October says everything that happens to us is destined to happen before we're even born. Like him trading his tap shoes in on an underwood. I can see his future so clearly. But I can't see my own. I think a lot about the future now. And what's gonna happen? Whatever it is, I sure hope you prepare me for it.
God bless Mama, Billy, Muriel, Jadai Walker, and Emma. But most of all, God bless Uncle Ray. Amen. from Ray. What's it say? Dear Lily, I had to go away for a while. In case I don't make it back in time for Christmas, here's your present. Take care of Emma and your mama while I'm gone. Ray. Don't worry. He'll come back. No, honey. He won't. I have heard what the talkers are talking. The talk of the beginning and the end. I do not talk of the beginning or the end. There was never any more youth or age than there is now. No more heaven and hell than there is now. And will never be any more perfection than there is now. Out of the dimness, opposite equals advance. Always a knit of identity. Always a breed of life. I wanted to extend my condolences. Um, I'm leaving this evening, and I wanted to say goodbye to Miss Maisie. Oh, um... Sorry, I, perhaps I've come at a bad time. Mr. Walker, if my sister would want to see anyone, she would want to see you. Come on in. Mama, there's someone here to see you. Music and love once filled this room. I never got a chance to say thank you. Why don't you play something? I haven't played in a while. Well, I know she'd appreciate it. Go on.
Dear sir or madame, I'm writing to let you know it's just swell I didn't get into your school. Because I got more important things to do here. Like take care of my mama. I wouldn't trade anything for the place I came from. It's taught me things, way down deep things. No matter how many rejection letters I get, I'll never stop dancing. Someday, I might dance all the way to New York City. So I got passion, I got heartbreak, and a fierce kind of hunger. But mostly, I've got hope. <laughs> 